Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do a quick review video for you today about my new axe. Now you may have seen this in one of my other videos, this is my Hans Carlson Sloyd axe um, and I bought this not so much as a replacement but more as an addition to my other carving axes, um, really just to have another sort of um, tool in the arsenal so to speak. Um, now I'll throw some specs up on the screen for you just so you can get all the technical details um, but I've been using this for a short while now and I'm really really enjoying using this axe. Now it's got a really really nice uh, shaped handle which is always a good start it's pretty thin for, uh, compared to most of the carving axes I'm used to but it does feel really really nice in the hand um, it comes with a leather sheath now I got this from uh, an online website called the woodsmith store um, and this is I believe a sheath that they put on themselves when they sell these axes really really nice little sheath um, the entire bottom section comes away so you can sort of very easily take the axe um, in and out. Um, the head, if you're familiar with my Gransfors Brux carving axe that I normally use, the head is significantly smaller um, and hence lighter, which is one of the reasons I bought it. Now it's that very familiar sort of bearded, uh, what a lot of people class as a Viking style axe. Um, I really, really like the look of it. Um, and it allows you to choke up really, really nicely for some fine detail work and push cuts. Got a really, really nice um, double beveled symmetrical grind on the blade. Um, and there was a particular reason I went with this. Um, and that is that my Gransfors carving axe um, is a right-handed grind, uh, which means it's great for right-handers and it's very good at smoothing things down, getting kind of very, uh, fairly flat surfaces. Um, this being a symmetrical grind is much better for curved surfaces um, and that's a, one of the reasons I've been using this a lot recently. I've been playing around with bowls and spoons and that kind of thing. Um, but I've been using this for a while now and I, as I say I'm really enjoying this axe. It's much much lighter than my Grants Falls which means I can use it for longer periods without getting an ache in my forearm and that kind of thing. Um, but what I think I'll do, I'm planning on keeping this video pretty short, um, so what I'll do, I'll move the camera just a little bit closer in, I'll grab a couple of little bits of off-cut, and I'll just give you a little demonstration of what this axe can do. Right then guys, so here's a little piece of off-cut that I've got hanging around, um, and what I wanted to show you was that this top piece here is not quite flat, there's a few lumps and bumps in it, and I wanted to give you a demonstration of how this axe copes with uh, flattening things down. Now if I just move around to a bit more of an angle for you, if I put this flush against the piece of work, which um, as I, was, I think you would have seen before, my Grants Force deals with really well. Now I'm getting no purchase on this whatsoever, so what I need to do is just angle this blade slightly and hopefully you can see there the angle I'm having to go with. Um, and then I can kind of start coming in And you know, it does work, there's no problem with it. But it does take a little bit more effort. So if you're looking for a carving axe that's going to allow you to smooth things down or flatten things off, this axe will do it, no problem. But there are better axes for it. My Grand Spores will go very, very close to the piece of work in this sort of manner and it will be cutting the whole way through. You don't have to bring in this angle. Um, so that's the first thing I've noticed about this axe. Now it's not really a, a, a sort of a con per se because a lot of axes work in exactly the same way. The fact that the Grand Spores has got a, um, a right hand bias means that it's particularly good for flattening surfaces. Um, that said, this, where this axe really does excel, and I'll give you a demo in a second, is when you're trying to curve, uh, carve curved pieces. So if we take this bit of stock as an example, and let's say we're gonna make a spoon out of this, so we wanna carve a bowl somewhere around here. Um, because of the symmetrical grind on this, what you can do is you can start fairly low down, That's obviously just taken a few seconds and hopefully you can see that curve starting on there um, and normally I'd bring this down the sides as well. Uh, 
And the real selling point for this axe for me is that it's just so light. Um, now, normally, this kind of work with the Gransfors, I would be feeling that in my forearm around about now. Um, you know, it doesn't stop you from using it, but you do know that you're using an axe. Um, this one, it's just so light that it's almost not there. Now, that said, you can allow just the weight of the head to do the work for you. Or you can put a little bit of force behind it just to help it along. Now because I'm not making anything in particular, this was really just a demonstration on kind of putting in a curve with this. The other thing this axe works really, really well at is push cuts. So if you choke up really, really tight onto your head, you can get some real fine detail work going on very easily. And all I'm really doing here is just smoothing down some of the axe cuts that I've made. That's not going to get all the tool marks out, certainly not as quickly as I want to do it, but if I show you that, very, very few axe marks in there now in comparison to what there were just a few minutes ago. Um, so really, I mean, that was it. Uh, this is obviously a dedicated carving axe. I mean, you could use it for other things. It would split if you needed to. You could cut down a small tree with it if you really needed to, but it is designed almost exclusively as a carving axe. Right then guys, well there you go, just a bit more of a proper introduction to this axe um, following on from my last video. As I say, I've been using this for a while now and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I'm using it almost as a, a sort of an everyday axe if you like. You know, I can come into my workshop, spend a good couple of hours without kind of feeling it in my forearms, without having to kind of take too many rest breaks, that kind of thing. Um, but I really, really like it. I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, if you're looking about picking up either your first or, or, or a new carving axe for your collection, you certainly won't go far wrong with this. Um, and you'll definitely be seeing it in some of my upcoming videos as well. Um, it's certainly getting a lot of views as it stands at the moment. Um, but anyway guys, hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.